The Range tool is one of the most powerful tools in Cubase, allowing for ultra-fast editing and now with Cubase 13 it can also be found in the key and drum editors, allowing you to edit MIDI faster than ever. Let's check it out. In order to show you what you can do with the range tool in the key and the drum editors, let's work on this beat that I've started right here. As you can see, I have an EP, I have some drums, I have a bass from Retrolog, and I have some violins from Iconica Sketch. And let's start with the drums. I'm going to open the drum editor and here's my drum part. With the range tool, you can do pretty much everything you can expect like in the audio domain. So you can copy, paste, move things around, but without worrying if you miss something while selecting things. Now let's say I want to duplicate these drum hits onto the following bars. What I could do now is instead of selecting all the notes like this and hope that I don't miss something, I can just grab my range tool right here and I can just select this range and everything is selected. Even if I had a drum hit down here, this would be selected. Now all I need to do is hit duplicate or command D on the Mac or control D on Windows. And as you can see, I can just start duplicating all my notes like this. The same thing I can do in the key editor. So let's open this EP part right here. And as you can see, now I have all my notes. Again, if I want to copy this part across, I don't need to worry too much about going up and down and making sure I select all the notes. I can grab my range tool, select the range, and then Command D, and I can just duplicate this part very easily and it doesn't stop there if i want i can have the range tool also select my controllers so as you can see right here i'm selecting just the notes but if i want to select my controllers as well i can just hit shift and click on the controller area and now the controllers are also selected and now i can duplicate those as well the other way that you can do this is that you can set your range and then you can go to selection mode and select full vertical and this will also select any controllers that might be in use but are not currently visible now as you can see on this part there are some notes that were played before the start of the bar so if i play this now if i select and copy these notes you will see that the beginning is going to be cut off but if you want to retain this nice arpeggiando right here what you can do is i would extend the selection like this and now i would just copy it and paste it like that. And now I have the beginning of the notes, but everything is retained. The timing, all the notes are selected and they're copied, and also my sustain pedals are right there as well. So that makes for a super fast MIDI editing. And it goes without saying that if you're working with a lot of CC controllers, if you're a film composer and have multiple CC messages and you want to copy and paste them, this is now very, very easy. So if I go to my violins right here, you will see that I've created this CC1 automation right here. But maybe I want to copy this CC automation right here on the next phrase. So it's as easy as selecting my range and then while holding the old key or the option key on the Mac, I can just drag and the CC1 automation is just copied. It's way, way easier than just trying to select all the points, hope that you didn't miss anything as I did right here. You just select your reins and your CC controllers are selected. Let's check another example. Here I have a bass part from Retrolog. And as you can see, I have this note right here that has some modulation that is quite funky. So let's say I want to copy this to this note right here. Again, super easy. I select my range with a range tool, hit Alt or Option, and just paste it right here. So this way you can copy CC events, you can copy pitch bend events, everything is way more straightforward and faster. And if you want to change your selection, it's actually very easy. You just create your selection and then if I hit my left and right arrows, I can move it across. And if I hold Alt and Shift or Option and Shift, I can extend the end of the selection.
And here's another cool trick. If you select a range of notes and let's say you want to transpose them, if I select now my object selection tool, these notes and only these notes are going to be selected. And now I can transpose them. So with the range tool in the key and the drum editors in Cubase 13, MIDI editing has become so much faster. Happy producing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.